Hey, how's everybody doing? Um, I don't think anybody's made it online yet. Uh, once again, I didn't post that I was going online, so I'm catching you guys by surprise. Um, so uh, tonight I'm starting a new topic. Uh, this is on nutrition, and uh, I'm calling this Fuel for Life. You are what you eat. And, and this is part one. I was trying to do this all in one evening. Hello, Tom. Uh, I was trying to do this all in one evening, but I'm going to break it up into a couple of sessions called Fuel for Life. You are what you eat. Ha, ha, ha. Um, and you've heard that saying before. You are what you eat. Maybe some of you have, some of you haven't. But uh, um, if you think we eat plants, hey, <laughs> uh, you know, we eat plants of the ground and then, okay, we also eat meats, you know, steak, chicken, what have you, and what do they eat? Plants, hopefully. Of course, some farms aren't so good about that. Your hamburger? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ham you're eating a hamburger? You? No way. See, I see Sandra's watching, so... Um, uh, anyway, so, um, lost my train of thought. We, you know, we, we eat plants, and then the cows and the chickens, they eat plants, we hope, and, um, but not necessarily. Um, and so then, you know, but then where do plants get their uh, nutrition? Well, they get it from the sun, they get it from the rain, and then the water. Hello, Sandra. Uh, they get uh, uh, water out of the soil, and most, the main point I want to make is they get their nutrients out of the soil. All these vitamins and minerals are all in the soil, and, um, you know, and this is um, based off of a book I'm reading, uh, called Super Life by Darren Olean. Uh, and he's a guy who goes out and looks for a lot of superfoods and writes up on them and their nutrition value and, and does some uh, uh, other products. But um, so anyway, you know, he, he's talking about it, that we get our, um, our uh, the plants get their nutrients from the soil. So, and um, one thing that, that I kind of thought of is like from the Bible, in Genesis, uh, it says that Adam was formed out of the dust of the ground and, you know, the soil. And so, and that soil had nutrients. So, you know, if you, you know, the, you are what you eat, you know, well, you are from the soil. So you need those same nutrients from the soil. And you may have also heard, um, when people say to drink water, well, you're made seventy per you're seventy percent water, so you need water. Well, you're also from the dust of the ground, so you need those same nutrients. Um, but uh, studies have been shown that uh, your nutrition will lengthen your life and give you more energy. Like the a uh, few years ago, the Mediterranean diet, they did a study on it. Um, I think that's one with the fish and vegetables and, of course, the red wine every day. No. <laughs> the important part, no. Um, but, uh, you know, it's been shown that it lengthened people's lives following that diet. And, um, and there's some truth in that where, uh, you know, more at a biological level, like your DNA, some people will say, well, I'm, uh, pre my family is predisposed to a certain condition like a type 2 diabetes or a heart disease or cancer or something. And, um, you know, it's in our DNA, but, but uh, there's a whole new field uh, where they're studying that the DNA and the chromosomes that that can be affected by your uh, by stresses like your nutritional stresses like if you you're, you have a lot of deficiencies you've been eating junk food and not anything healthy so you're deficient uh, and also any emotional physical stress you're going through it can affect uh, your your DNA well and it and specifically and if, I, if I'm pronouncing this correctly the telomeres T E L O M E R E S um, and those are like the tails of, of the chromosomes. And when you're under that stress, your, your nutritional stress or other stress, those tails are shortened. And your DNA be can become damaged 
you know, obviously, because it's not the same structure it was supposed to be in, but, uh, and if you have enough damage to your DNA, that's when you can, you know, potentially start getting into those disease conditions. So, um, and then some research I was trying to do, with, look just real quick, it looked like some people are trying to look into how can you lengthen these telomeres back out. But I, you know, it's a new field that they're studying, so, um, you know, it's, you know, the information's available. I'll see if I can find some more on it uh, for next time. But uh, anyway, so basically, you know, yeah, you, you can affect your longevity with your diet and, you know, uh, not have not stressing your body so much and um, so you do want to eat your whole foods and not eating processed foods um, you know your whole foods apples bananas broccoli cauliflower you know you know all your fruits and vegetables and if you're uh, eating meats you know any kind of you know your grass-fed beef or uh, you know the free-range uh, type of meats. I know it costs a couple extra dollars at the checkout, but, you know, I think it's worth it. Um, so, and also some of the uh, the processed foods versus your the whole foods, like you can have, uh, you know, calorie for calorie, you know, just say you have an apple or a banana at 100 calories and some processed snack, you know, cookies. For example, um, you know, calorie for calorie, uh, your your body, you know, your metabolism just handles the processed foods a lot differently. So, you know, it kind of slows down, and um, and that's where a lot of people are getting into some overweight conditions is from eating the processed foods. I have some friends that have followed more of a whole foods diet and have lost weight and have overcome all kinds of things. So, um, but I, I may try to dive into some of that at a later date, um, get some more of their feedback on how they're doing. So, uh, anyway, that's what I wanted to cover tonight was, you know, we, you know, think about where we come from and, and what's in the ground and those nutrients and how that affects the potential for disease and keeping ourselves eating right and, and, uh, keeping ourselves calm, <laughs> so, and eating the, all the right foods, so, anyway, uh, I appreciate you guys watching, and, hi Pam, <laughs> um, just kind of wrapping up here with the, you know, what we eat and the plants, and um, the healthy, eating the healthy diet, and how it affects our longevity, so, I'm getting ready to post this video in just a couple of minutes, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, write in, and I'll, I'll be checking online in just a few minutes. As soon as Facebook can post this, it will be there. All right. Well, I really appreciate you guys watching, and I will talk to you later.